my, my impression from participating in the last discussion on this trilateral uh, meeting was that uh, all the participants wanted to have a scenario for the future which is uh, based on fairness, on openness, on mutual respect and uh, uh, a democratic future, so to speak. And uh, uh, of course it's mainly up to you in the future as younger people uh, to create this kind of development. But you have different uh, possibilities to influence the politics of your state. In Germany and in Poland it are more or less open societies, multi-party democracies. You can engage yourself here or there and can participate in the political future of your country. It is a bit different in Russia. Uh, and uh, therefore it depends also very much on the internal development of, uh, in Russia, within Russia. If Russia chooses to really modernize the country, uh, taking all the human potential which is huge of the country uh, and let them participate, really participate, meaning also having influence. Then I'm very uh, hopeful for the future, but at the very moment I'm a bit more skeptical because what I can hear from the Russian government is just the opposite. And uh, so I do hope that Russia is correcting its course vis-a-vis -vis Ukraine, vis-a-vis -vis Europe, vis-a-vis -vis also United States. And uh, we can start again the next reset button, so to speak, uh, uh, hoping to get back to the NATO-Russia uh, treaty, for instance, or to those treaties we have uh, with the European Union and Russia, based, uh, aimed at cooperation and modernization and partnership. And this is what we should uh, try to pursue, but it's up to all three partners if it will happen.